we are at it again now you stay over there i know you're excited to see me i'm not excited to see you as well but you smell don't your parents give you a bath anyway we got us a boar at the old the old plum thicket so it's time to get him up before it gets too hot it's getting warm already but we got to get this sucker put up but anyway here's some uh footage from last night of us catching him something hit my camera at some point and knocked it where i don't have quite the view that i normally like to show y'all but this is this is what i got so and the phone signal wasn't awesome either so but bear with me here you go We got here. What are you doing? Besides digging holes, huh? What are you doing besides digging holes in here? You're that friendly guy, aren't you? You friendly? You let me pet you? Look at you. All right, give me a minute here. Let me get set up, and I'll get you out of there. Give me a minute. I'll get set up. We'll get you out of there. Friendly guy. What do I want to name him? Look at Harper. And we got Harper and she is ready to go. Get back, get back, get in your seat. Get in your seat. Get in your seat. Sit down. Sit down. Sit, uh, sit, sit down. Sit down. You smell like a skunk. What have you been doing? Easy son. Easy son. Easy son. like that just like that <laughs> Harper's she's throwing a fit old boy's loaded good deal I was really concerned about that about that it's getting hot and I knew I couldn't get here first first thing but we got here soon enough Let's get some more corn in here and see what we can do with our camera. We got to get better camera angle because something hit it, knocked it over, and just hasn't been the same since. He's one of two boars I've been seeing that's been keeping a lot of pigs from coming in. So, 
glad to get him caught because we got a lot more hogs here we just they've been kind of keeping us from really catching a big bunch of them so now that he's gone i hope we'll get his buddy hey zay we can uh i brought my secret weapon not you but right here but luckily we didn't need her all right everything's ready to go back catch some more hogs camera's ready i repositioned it to a little better spot tighten everything up gauge her up got some french camera in there corn dogs loaded harper's ready to go she won't have the corn dog but anyway let's uh let's let's go we'll have a sunday market wild hog market report here in a little bit i you a little bit welcome to your sunday morning wild hog market report uh boy that was, a, that was a good hog to get out of there we was glad to get him gone he's been the gatekeeper for say of the of the trap and i feel like we're gonna have some bigger and better things coming along now that we got him out of there um i do not have the sheet right here handy of what he brought he's around 150 160 pounds but anyway i'll you can do the math once I give you the numbers. How about that? We'll, we'll check you great. Leave the comments below what that hog should have brought. So we're gonna say, we'll say away 155. So, all right, for your Sunday morning wild hog market report, the 25, 29 pound hogs bring $6, 30, 30, 39 pound hog will bring $10, 40, 49 pound hog will bring $13, 50, 59 pound hog will bring $16, 66, nine pound hog will bring $24, the 77, nine pound hog will bring $26, and the 80, to 99 pound hogs are, are bringing 40 cents a pound that's that's a good price i'll tell you the truth then what jumps up to 100 to 170 pound hogs are going to bring 50 cents a pound and 171 to 55 171 pounds and up is going to bring 55 cents a pound so those are good prices i'm i hope they stay like that for a while um it's a very good situation to be in and to catch hogs. So, uh, so that hog there is going to bring fifty cents a pound. So let's see how how well you, how well you do on your math on that one. Uh, for your workday forecast for this next week for Northern Montague County, and if you want to include North Texas, you're more than welcome to do that. Today is going to be 93, 68 for your low. That's that's a decent deal right there. Uh, Monday, ninety five is going to be your high. Seventy three for your low and tuesday's 95 your high 74 for your low and wednesday is going to be 95 and 73 for your low humidity is going to start creeping up wednesday uh sunday monday and tuesday we're going to put a 20 percent chance of afternoon showers and thunderstorms we'll see how that goes um for thursday we're going to bump it up <laughs> a notch uh you're going to have a 30 percent chance of shattered shattered scours and thunderstorms uh, 92 is going to be your high, 72 for your low, and if you do get a chance to have a storm around you, those temperatures will come down to a decent, decent temperature. It's been nice some, some afternoons. We've had some showers here lately. Uh, Friday, 91 is your high, 75 for your low. Saturday is going to start creeping back up on us. It's going to be 95 or 97, 77 for your low, 98 on Sunday, 77 for your low, and you'll have to wait and see what happens next Sunday. To talk about the next work week so ah your fishing forecast for sunday you just missed the uh a good time to go fishing it is a 93 percent excellent fishing day for today um but give it till about what we're looking at here we're looking at about about mm, 10 30 11 you ought to get back out there and get some minnows in them waters you'll uh you'll start catching some crappie uh, and it's going to last for about three hours, so that's a good sh good shot. Um, and then it's going to be a little delay, and then right when the sun goes down, the temperature gets real nice. You got you another good shot of that's the next peak. It's Ten o'clock, nine thirty, ten is going to be your next peak. So get out there and get after it on Monday. For those that took the Monday off for the for the Fourth of July, um, get out there early, between four a.m. and and eight a.m. You'll have you a good shot of catching some crappie. Uh, then back out there at noon again, it's gonna start getting a little warm, but I think you can tolerate it. Get them minters are soaking, you'll catch you some crappie. And then uh, again, when the sun goes down, that's the best chance again to catch you some crappie. So a lot of good opportunity coming up in this week to, to do some fishing. Hopefully everybody's staying safe and staying hydrated and 
enjoying their 4th of July, enjoying their time off during this time of year. Uh, I think we're very fortunate not to have the temperatures we had last week. I, one time I seen 109 on my truck. Uh, I don't know. I really hadn't had a chance to pay attention to the weather of last week to see who else it may got hotter. I heard some, heard of maybe some 111s around Wichita Falls. But uh, it's been nice this week. It's been a nice change. I'm sure next week uh, that high pressure dome is going to get back over us and probably creep those temperatures back up again. But anyway, there are more videos to come. Just hold on. Just be patient. Um, we got some stuff coming up. Uh, we will have a Sunday morning wild hog mark report next Sunday. So y'all stay tuned. Other than that, y'all stay safe. Stay hydrated. Watch your pets during this heat and the fireworks. And we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you, guys.